here it is a salvage Tesla Model 3 um, it's gonna be a project I'm in it pretty far right now just uh, starting to disassemble things and see where the damage is uh, so far it's not too bad uh, guess what to find out when I get a quote from Tesla for all the repair parts and uh, then we'll know for sure how much my investment got me Here it is. Guy made it all the way from Maryland. Jeez. Uh oh, jackknife. <laughs> Pull ahead and come back. All right, we're going to unload this thing and we'll take a look at it after. Here it goes, dialing it off. <laughs> That's it. We got it off. Whew. Do I, do I have to videotape the destruction of my new car? Yes, you do. Can you get the hood open? Oh, God. Oh, God. What is it? I think it's still latched. It's still latched, but Hey, there might be some stuff I can save in there. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, can I get to the battery? I think I think we can get to the battery. But what worries me is it might something might short out because there's a lot of stuff busted right here. There's something in the in the trunk. A bag or something. Yeah, there you go. You almost got it. Hey now, I need that radio. <laughs> Let me get this out the way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Busting the glass now. Think. All right, these trims are still good, so I'm gonna take these out. You know, the vent and the other trim. Put these over here. But hey, the rest of the car is spotless. Yeah, ratchet. Ratchet. Gotta take the hood off. Gotta take the hood off. Four bolts. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, because the shock will come off with a screwdriver. Well, hey, we're going to get this thing off and see, see what we look like. Power this thing up. So I know you want to a Tesla repair shop, Matt. Oh, oh, oh. Don't break it. There's a latch. We might have to unbolt the latch. Yeah, we do. Can you get to it? Right, it's got pretty bad. That's my good hood. See what they have in here. Oh, London, England. Bur Burberry? Burberry? Yeah, Burberry? Oh, what's in here? Gold watch. Shit. Nothing. Shit. <laughs> hey, who's choking out my car? Hey, the content survived. Paper. All right, what is this? Oh, that's plate down there. Oh, I am. You got things? No. Okay, one down here. The rest of them just completely broke off. Mm -hmm. Here's the front So we got this. That's the um, easy. Can I start this off here? Yeah, easy on that because we could we probably save that latch. So if you take that off, everything we save is money. Uh, I don't know. It's All gonna right, take some plastic welding to fix um, that. That's garbage. What does this go to? That's part of that plastic frame. Yeah. Put it all up. What is this? Cover for something? Yeah, I don't 
this uh this aluminum little bracket's good which one right here the uh the oh yeah that's what i was saying that you need to go through all the trash all the trash ain't trash yeah this is still good most of it's just thrown there it needs to be going through and it bent the little thing right here a little bit but that's not that bad we can just beat that back down oh yeah it's perfect. Uh, just pretty much keep everything until you get replacements for it you gotta bend this back so you can replace it That's junk. What else we got? Oh, that was the fan. Where is the fan? Probably left on the side of the road. <laughs> the fan's in the back of the tow truck. Oh. You fire this thing up. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. You talked me into it. Oh. <laughs> That's what you're waiting for. All right, all right, all right. This is where the fireworks fly. All right. Any sparks, any smoke, unplug that thing. I gotta turn it on first. Yeah. And then you grab a fire extinguisher. Alright, what's that Oop, I heard something. It's open. I'm in like Flynn. Hey, dude, where's the key? Where's the key? Oh shit. Yeah. Where's my key? Alright. Matt's cutting out the airbags. <laughs> oh. We are fully charged. Well, jumping, jumping it off. Um, I kind of want to see this MCU boot up. I mean, I know it's going to. <laughs> it just takes a while when it's been not powered for like a month. Okay, okay, this is where I need to turn shit off. Um, 12 volt reduced. Wait, come back on. What'd you do? Oh, it sparked. Gosh, dog, it needs more load. Ugh. Yeah, it drawed too much power, and I think it tripped back out. Huh? That's where it crashed, I guess. Oh, crap. Is that where it crashed? Like the last record? Where's that? That's where it thinks it's at. Yeah. Okay, so which is where? It, it, this is gonna boot up, so I need to Wi-Fi settings. No, no, I need to go car um, safety and security. Allow mobile access. Thank you. Oh, to disable it, I gotta put in his. Oh, trap. I'm going to be worried about it. As soon as you well, just the battery, it's dead anyway. Really um, the back seats are perfect. You know what we didn't even freaking check? Fracking hell, open the trunk. Ah! Couldn't he, he couldn't even leave me his charger, man. Damn, is, how did glass get in here? That's a good question. But uh, you can probably contact the guy and see if you got any of that shit stuff. Hey, four two two one to get you. Yeah. Mainly the keys. Yeah. I need the key. My charge would be nice too. <sighs> well. You can change it. It's not hard. Think it'd be cool. Uh uh. What? It's red. That means it's disconnected. That means uh uh. It ain't gonna charge. Okay. <sighs> yeah, well, but I knew that. I knew that going in. The fuse is coming. It's going to be here in a couple days. We're going to take the back seat out, and we're going to pop that fuse in there. Hopefully, get the key. Yeah, I wouldn't think so. But uh, yeah, we're going to fix this car, man. All right, let's take this thing apart. Thirteen. Thirteen millimeter bolt. Yeah. Get this bump can off.
powered it up, got the door open. There is a couple bolts holding the fender. Right, there's one right at the top up here. Uh, okay, so there's two on the inside. I have to probably nuts. I have to take off. Okay, got the fender loose. Um, uh, GoPro died on me, so here we go. So this is there's one bolt up here. So you have to open the door to get to that one. Um, there's a nut you need to loosen in the middle. Um, and there's a nut you need to loosen down near the bottom. And then there's one more bolt you need to loosen at the very bottom on the, on the roll pan here. Now looky here. I wonder where that came from. Maybe right there. So apparently that broke off and fell, <laughs> fell down there when the corner of the fender hit it. I do have to bend these brackets back so, in some sort of way. Because this one especially got shifted. You can see where it kind of peeled it back a little bit. Um, oh, and here's the camera connection. So, some electrical plug there. Um, this one, I think I tried. I couldn't get them off, but... two plugs there's the cable plug there's that plug I need to wrap these up with tape because if that gets damaged or dirty it's not gonna work too well and uh, the fenders off okay see that's what it looks like with the fender off not too much to see here um, so we have a total of one two three four Five, six, seven, and I think, yeah, 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 the one, the one right there. So that's eight. So you have eight bolts to remove the fender. Not too bad. Well, I hate that I didn't show all the fun. Got my impact here. And, uh, yeah, literally, these bolts here come right out with the impact blew right out even the one here but one of them I had to pry out and kind of unscrew at the same time to come out this one is not coming out this one on the other hand is quite loose so I thought that was glued in there. Apparently not. Yeah. The crash can come right out. I'm probably going to have to use a come along or beat on this one or something. And I know I'm going to have to beat on this a little bit, straighten it out. Maybe when I get the new one, I can swedge it in there and just and get it straight. And then bolt it up and maybe do a little pulling on it just because it does look like it may. Have a little bit and then we'll be good there new lower well uh, right side from the front hose to the coolant um, I know I need the the condenser uh, compressor the one that, the condenser line that comes from the compressor I need that one I think this one's gonna be okay it's it's got some scratches and scuffs on it. I mean, it's worth pressure testing just to see if it leaks because that that line goes all the way, connects to this, connects to that. Uh, I don't want to have to replace that one. Um, yeah, as you see, there's no motor in here. And this is the only other damage that I'm going to have to get to. Um, man, looking at this, it almost does look like maybe this side was shifted down a little bit. That that upper arm there looks like it 
push down. Let us see. Maybe. Yeah, you know what? Maybe when it hit that, it uh, it pushed it down. So may have to may have to lift up on it a little bit. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, whatever it is, I'll, I'll take some measurements from from a level uh, surface and get that squared away, and then we'll take some uh, side measurements and make sure this is straight, put a straight edge on it or something. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to get some parts and start putting this thing back together. And that'll be it. Need to order some parts. All right, so I'm like Santa Claus, I'm going through and on parts, making my list, checking it twice of all of what I need, highlighting it. I just went ahead and printed off pretty much all the different sections, subsections of what I need. Um, and so far I've needing a, a bumper, a bunch of brackets. Uh, let's see what here. Uh, the carrier, which is that piece. Um, bunch of bolts and brackets. That, that that piece is just completely destroyed and gone. I literally don't have any of this stuff. Uh, the crash cans were destroyed. I have the bolts, so I'm marking off all that stuff. Up. Yeah, that's all this right here. And then I don't have the the front grill, the cap, none of that stuff. I got the, I got the tie. It was in the um, what do you call it? In the frunk still. And then the bumper. I need I need every bit of that. All those little clips. Um, the left hand and right hand fender, the hood. Uh, yeah, I marked airbag, but yeah, that's that's gonna be an issue. I need to underline that. And mark restricted on there. So yeah. And then we got the radiator, the condenser, the cooling fan. Let's see, where was that? It never goes back to thermal. Yeah, it did. All right. Uh, refrigeration system. Yeah. So yeah, I need. I need all this right here. So all these parts. And that discharge line hose. I wrote down the the model I need. I think it was something D. I don't see it though. Yeah. And then what is all this stuff? Stabilizers, nuts. Yeah, I might not. This is the frunk. Yeah. So here's something really interesting. I did a little further investigating on the car. Um, I don't think I really revealed this earlier on because I was in a flurry to just try to see what was working or not working. Um, but here's the last known location of the car. It hasn't updated to where I am. Um, and apparently they got in a wreck sideways on the road in, near Elkridge, um, um, Maryland. And you can see here it's still showing the, I'm guessing the battery still updates to show its charge status. Um, but the really exciting thing is, hold on, got it go to this and you find out that the car is a long range model 3 rear wheel drive I didn't expect that at all so I got really lucky on that when the car was sold nothing was working they couldn't get in the car they, they couldn't jump it off because the hood was stuck down and jammed we, pl we played hell getting it up so I don't, I don't blame them they couldn't get these details but fortunately I got the luck of the, uh, the roll of the dice I got a long range model 3 with 19,000 miles on it and when you think that's that's not good enough yeah that's right it has navigate on autopilot it has summon 
I am pretty sure this is a, he purchased full self-driving for the car. I was really looking at doing is because I just got something in the mail. Um, dare I do it? Dare I go for it? It's really no rush. I can wait. But, um, I would like to pop the seat up and just take a look at what's all involved. Um, at getting in there to change it. Okay, so how do we get this back seat up? Something about a clip down here. Oh yeah, there's one of them. Let's see. Ah, oh, there it is right there. See that little clip? So you just... Pull it this way and unlatches that one. Alright, go to the other side. Let's see, and then this one goes the same way. Yep. I think I gotta pull. Yeah. Pull that stuff out of there. Alright, what's connected here? So we got a little connector to unplug. Um, how does this unplug? Um, wow. So yeah, there's two connectors. There's one over there, and there's one right here. This little guy here. Um, so this is the 12 volt connection. Yeah, and they got a ground for that. 12 volt going to the battery and everything, and then supposedly. When you um, disconnect this guy, I forget how this interlock works. Um, you take this guy off. Oh, okay. So you flip it down. Okay. So you flip this lever down, and then oh, it pops it up. Okay. And then you pull unplug it. Okay, that's it. Alright, so I plug that. I got all these to undo. Um, do I have to take the Apple Shell connector off? No, no, this, the cover goes around that. Okay, so I do have to take, no, I don't have to take this 12 volt off either, I don't believe. So it's just all these guys. And now I see why I can't do this right now. I don't have a, I don't have that Torx bit set. Yeah. In other words, it's this this type of uh bit. You see that? So yeah, a buddy of mine told me I'm probably gonna need those, and he was right. That's the penthouse, boys. Welcome to the penthouse. We'll have to check back at this another time. Um, but I just wanted to open it up and look at it.